A thief carrying a box. Its contents? Not money, not jewelry, but instead a rattlesnake. They stole a baby rattlesnake. That was, that was stupid. That was very stupid. The cold-blooded crime taking place on Sunday at the Reptile Zone between 11 p.m. to 12.45 a.m. The burglar stealing up to $3,000 worth of inventory, an act that business owner Jeff Jensen says was personal. They took two very special snakes, a Pac-Man frog, the cages to go with those, including two 40-gallon tanks, destroyed a couple cameras. They spray-painted the camera in the back parking lot. They stole my tip jar off the counter. There was maybe 50, 60 bucks in coins on it, but they took that. Surveillance video shows the suspect rummaging through cages. Here, the suspect is digging out what's called a Pac-Man frog from its cage and placing it in another container to transport. He is sporting a light-colored ski mask and a jacket with a reflective patch on the left side of his chest. Jensen thinks it may be a young man who he has personally shown the back room of the store, which is not normally open to customers without permission. Pretty sure that it's someone that we have allowed either in the back for one reason or another to show stuff. The suspect apparently entered the store by tearing out an AC unit from a window in the back of the building, allowing access to the back room. The stolen animals included that special and prized snake that Jensen has had for seven years, the all-white and blue-eyed ball python named Casper. He did all of my birthdays and school presentations. Every kid that I've ever done a party for, everybody wanted to hold Casper. I don't know that I'll ever see my guy. Sorry. Casper especially. I don't know whether I'll ever see him again, but I do want the guy to pay. There is a reward for anyone who has information that leads to an arrest. In Bend, Colby Enabrad, Central Oregon Daily News.